So after a few months of having everyone work from home, decided to visit the office today and I'd forgotten about this uh, nifty little model we have here. So I thought I'd introduce it to everyone. Um, so this is a uh, scaled uh, model of the Octiform uh, formwork system, obviously for straight walls. Uh, in this one, it's featuring the uh, corrugated panel, which is essentially an option for aesthetics. Um, and, you know, most of the, most actually people use a flat panel, but uh, sometimes people prefer a corrugated, uh, particularly on actually round containment tanks. Um, they tend to to, um, to like to use the uh, corrugated just for appearance. On the interior, uh, it's a, featuring a flat wall, uh, so this is our standard flat panel. Um, this is just the model specifically. There aren't these creases aren't actually necessarily shown um, in reality, but uh, this. Um, uh, so it would be quite a smooth finish. Uh, in terms of the construction of the wall, uh, the first thing that happens in a uh, in a flat, straight wall is that corners are assembled and braced, uh, and then after that, um, sections of about three are pre-assembled on the ground um, and just carried and set in place. Um, and then they're they're set in place with kind of one six-inch section missing, and those panels are slid down to connect to the other one. So you'd bring in another three and then slide down panels to connect to the other one. Uh, you'd brace it to the um, to the bracing, uh, which depending on the height of the walls, you know, likely going to be just uh, dimension lumber uh, on a Y brace format, and it would just get uh, screwed into the top there and the bottom to, to hold it in place uh, during wind loading, etc. cetera. Uh, finally, what, you, what you'd end up doing then is uh, you'd place your horizontal rebars, um, and then you'd lift them off the formwork and tie them to the verticals. And the way you'd be able to access them, sometimes people don't kind of picture this, but it's actually quite easy, uh, is every third panel or so would not be placed yet on the exterior. So it's very easy to reach in there and, and place your uh, place your bars, obviously. Um, once uh, everything's all placed and tied, you would then drop your outer panels in anywhere where they were missing and then place your insulation. And the EPS insulation has a little clip that kind of connects to this track here and slides down that track. Um, and then finally, of course, you'd, you'd uh, fill your, your or avoid with concrete uh, and you'd be placing concrete in a rate of about uh, uh, four and a half feet per per hour uh, so it'll support a continuous rate of pour regardless of the height of the wall at about four and a half feet per hour you use a rel relatively flowable mix so you probably uh, use a plasticizer to bring it up to about a seven and then obviously plasticizer goes away pretty quick so you want to make sure you use it quick uh, within about uh, 40 minutes of adding the plasticizer it should be all placed um, and then uh, other than that, questions we commonly get, uh, this shows a, a, what would probably be equivalent to about an eight inch connector. Um, and so you'll notice that there's this section here. This is always only about uh, one and a half inches. So it allows for two inches of cover. So if you're getting a larger wall, say like a 18 inch wall or a 24 inch wall or something like that, this square area becomes much, much more, much more large. Uh, so we're always able to accommodate any st standard structural design. Um, so you can accommodate um, you know, double mats of rebar, uh, and um, and then you know, typically you know, four inch, six inch spacing, no problem. Uh, if you do go down as you know, as dense as three inch spacing and say containment tanks and what have you, uh, occasionally there's a collision, uh, but you know, uh, code allows for you to then double up. So you'd essentially you know, say you're doing three inch spacing, occasionally you get a collision, so you go to four inch, uh, and then you do a two inch, and then you carry on. So uh, pretty much accommodates any standard structural design. Uh, without any need for design changes at all and behaves essentially like traditional formwork only to stay in place um, so you get better uh, uh, much more uh, kind of diverse performance attributes from containment tanks to um, uh, low thermal bridging and uh, thermal mass of the concrete improving the performance of the structure so there it is